Hello, this is Matthew Miller from Nokia Experts. Another look at the Nokia N900, and this time we're going to take a look at uh, the email client and the text message uh, conversation client as well. So in the email client, let me try to set this up here, we can tap up here. You can see there's uh, options for creating a new account, um, SMT, SMTP servers in case they're different. Uh, edit your account, send and receive, or settings. If we tap on the settings here, as you can see there's uh, settings for a default account if you want HTML email to appear, um, update automatically, connected via any connection, and your intervals. Just tapping on your intervals, you can see there's uh, there's no push. It's five minutes, one or two hours, that kind of thing. Okay. And uh, if we go up here to, for a new account, you could do the wizard that it has and walk through a new account setup. And um, I already have three accounts, so let's go to the smartphone experts, uh, Nokia experts email. And as you can see, I've set this up as a IMAP account. So the folders that I have are appearing there. And there you can see the folders that are the same as the labels in my Gmail account. This is a Gmail powered uh, email service. So if I tap on inbox, shows the messages and it shows uh, new messages in orange and red messages. Those are unread messages in orange and, and red messages in white. Um, if I open a message, the site, this is not an, there's not a lot of content in that one. Now one thing is our options up here, move, a new message, message details, add to the contacts, find in the message so you can search. And see how it um, makes the back of the N900 display a little fuzzy whenever you have a menu pop up. I think that's kind of a hack. And then uh, there's just uh, scrolling through your different messages in the inbox as you see there. Okay. Um, let's see. There was a new message coming in. As you see up top, it uh, gives you a notification. It has a little block, it tells you who's the sender, the subject, and then it flashes over here. Now if I tap in that corner where the email came in, there it is. It has a little uh, small little icon and they dynamically change depending on how many icons you have on the task manager. And then you could tap that and open up that email message if you wanted to. Okay. So that's a quick look at email. Um, I wonder if I have any trying to think of any type of HTML emails I have. Let me look at those and I'll come back. Here's a good look at a full um, HTML email from uh, Barnes & Noble regarding the new Nook that I actually ordered the ebook reader. So um, it comes in like this. If I wanted to see the images, I tap on this icon here. And as you can see, there's options up there. It says view on the mobile device, view in the browser. So I just tap that icon there. And then if I scroll down, you can see it's still loading some of those images. And I'll give it a second. As you can see, this this uh, particular email has uh, a lot of uh, images in it that seem to be pretty good in size. So after tapping on that icon, the images load up, and as you can see, if you scroll down with the arrows, there's your full. HTML email on the uh, Nokia N900. Emails look pretty good, they work pretty well. I'm uh, pretty happy with the client. There's a uh, few things I would like with the Exchange client, but, uh, but not bad at all. Now if you were to create a message, you tap New Message and um, your email and you can select what email um, account you want to send it from. On the To field, if you just push the uh, Return key, it'll open up your contacts. Um, that have email addresses, that is. And unfortunately, on the Exchange, Mail for Exchange, I don't see an ability to search the server for those uh, particular names. So let's just uh, Matthew at NokiaExperts.com. That's all right if everybody knows that email. And type a subject just to test, you know. And then you can go into the body of the email. And um, as you see, when you go to the body of the email, you have options for fonts. There's the, the type of fonts, the sizes, bold, italics. And tapping on here, you see there's a color so you can have 
different colors that you use with your fonts. And then type your email and then you just tap that uh, button up top to send it. Now also with that email you can see there's some options when you tap the upper um, upper menu. You can check your names which just goes in the contact list, add a blind copy or a copy, insert an image, add an attachment, search the message and perform some other message settings such as formatted text or plain text and priorities. So it's a pretty functional email client as you can see. If I go back and it saves it automatically to drafts. Okay. Now let's bounce over to the uh, to the conversations which is their text message client. As you can see I have uh, a few text messages there. Now um, you can see there's new SMS or new IM. If you tap new SMS you just enter the number for the people. If you go up here tap return Oops. and uh, tap the two. You can choose from your contact list that have phone numbers in there. Type your message. You can tap on the smileys and have a few smileys to, to add to it and then tap send to send your message. All right. Now if we also go into uh, new IM, I have to be online. I'm not online right now, but I'll change that in a second. So if we look at these conversations, I think this one here has a couple of uh, discussions in it. So I've got an e one text message from a girl about soccer practice. I replied. So it has the threaded text messaging capability, something that doesn't even happen in the Symbian, which is very nice to see. However, there are not, there is not any support for MMS at this time, um, but maybe we'll see that in the future. Now, if I tap on conversations, I can see there's send IM to delete conversations, go to settings, receive text message delivery reports, and then what to use for my SMS. Also, you'll see there's accounts. So if I tap on that, this is where you manage your IM accounts. And as it says there, VOIP and IM. Right now, I've got my um, Google Talk and my Skype accounts on there. If I tap on new, there's options as you can see for o OV by Nokia accounts, Skype, Google Talk, Jabber, and SIP. So those are what's supported in IM at this time. Okay. Now, so if I go up to the status bar and my availability is offline, let's tap on that. Let's get uh, let's get me online. All right. So I'll go online with both accounts, and you can manage those accounts here as well. You can set your status message, your location, all that kind of thing. I'll just go ahead and go online and say save. All right. And then as you can see up in that upper corner. My status is changing now to green. Okay, there's a bunch of status issues up there. Now, if I tap on New IM, now that I'm online, it should let me do that. And then I select a contact. Um, let's just contact Dieter, who's the editor of Smartphone Experts. And there we go. This is actually, as you can see at the bottom, it's a Skype call. So it's a Skype IM. Let's just say. Uh, as you can see, I, I don't think I've shown that before, there is predictive text on the N900 and to, uh, as it starts to um, give you a word, you just push an arrow, right arrow, to accept it. So testing from... Oops, I should have pushed a space there. The... It's hard to type and look through a camera lens at the same time. N900 and then sent. So there we go. I just sent him a text message or an IM. As you can see, you can do smiley faces as well. Not sure if Dieter's around to actually respond. It did so that he was online via Skype. I don't use Skype IM very much, but that's I've never had a device that's supported it so well. So on my um, N900, I currently have Skype and uh, Google Talk set up. So I'll give just a second to see if uh, Dieter is around to offer any response and just show you how that looks in the conversation. Go ahead and pause it while we wait to see if a response comes back and then I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so I'm not quite sure if Dieter's going to respond. Now one thing that you can do, if I tap on this, you see it's opened up that conversation in a separate window and then it's back to my normal conversation. If I go to my contacts, 
One thing that you can do on the contacts that I think I, I talked about briefly is you can show the availability. Last time I never was signed in. So now that I'm logged in, if I tap on availability and then my contacts, I can see that all these people are online. All right, you see the green uh, availability icon. This is similar to how the Google Android device does that as well. And it has uh, you know people that are uh, available, people that are busy, and then it goes on down to uh, I guess Dieter was busy, and then offline. Let me see if there's somebody online. I'd like to that I can bug for just a quick second. Well, let's just see if Danielle wants to. Uh... So that's a quick look at uh, the email clients and the IM slash um, text message clients that we have on the N900. They are pretty functional clients, as you can see, and I like the threaded conversations. And uh, so far, emails work just fine for me. One thing I haven't been able to get is encrypt the email, which uh, isn't really supported on any device uh, with my work email account. So thanks for watching. Appreciate.